Hi, this is Dave with SuspenderStore.com with another in our continuing series of videos all about suspenders. Today we're going to talk about storing suspenders. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, how do I store my suspenders? If you have a number of suspenders, that can be a real issue because if you don't have a neat way of doing it, it can be a real mess and like a whole lot of spaghetti. We know of a couple ways to store <clears throat> we know a couple of ways to store suspenders, so we're going to give you a rundown of some of the examples of the different ways that we know. Some work for some types of suspenders, like clip suspenders, and some work better for button suspenders, so we'll show you a variety of each. First, we'll talk about clip suspenders. So if you want to keep clip suspenders in a closet, there are a couple of things you can do. One of them is you can just drape them over the, the rod in the closet. That's, that doesn't work so well because they can slip off and it takes up a lot of room on the rod. So let me show you a couple of neat things to do there. There's a product out on the market, I, I don't know if it costs 20 or $40, but I'm going to show you how to do that for free and get the same result. So basically what you want to do is find a good coat hanger, not one of the real cheap ones that you get maybe from the dry cleaner and, and just a, a real you want one with some strength and substance. So this one has a much, you can just tell, and I push on it, it's got a much stiffer and stronger wire. So you get one of these, and what you do is you gently bend the wire down into a curve. So once you gently bend that coat hanger down into a curve, you can hang the clip suspenders on it. And because of the curve, they balance themselves in the closet. You can try to do this with some pants hangers, but it's a little trickier because you can't bend that bar and sometimes they'll get unbalanced and, and just all slide to one side. So this tends to work pretty well. You have to be very careful though when you put the clips on the wire, most clips have a gap below the front where the wire can fit in. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put the clip themselves, the clip part on the wire. You don't want the teeth holding onto the wire because that's going to wear the clip out. Here's another way to store the suspenders in a closet. A lot of times when you buy them in stores, the suspenders are hanging on a rack with these little plastic hooks that the suspenders are clipped and attached to. So if you save these plastic hooks, you can keep them and put a rod in your closet and uh, these will hang nicely on a metal rod in the closet just as they do in the store. If you don't have any of these plastic hooks, you might check with a local men's store and see if they can get them for you. Some people also put pegboard on their closet wall and they can slip the hooks onto the pegboard or uh, use thin rods and slide the clips onto them. If you space the pegs properly, you can use them for button suspenders as well. A metal rod can also be used for hanging trigger snap suspenders like this mannequin's wearing. These are the trigger snaps that snap on like the end of a dog leash to your belt loops and they hook really well to rods as well. So when you hang suspenders, you're putting them in a perpetual state of stretching. Now it's not major, but it's gravity, and gravity eventually gets to us all. But if you want to avoid that, here are a couple of other ways you can do it. A totally different approach, which is what I usually do, if you want to store your suspenders in a drawer or a box or on a shelf, is to bag the suspenders. And so what we do is we gently, it's between a roll and a fold, kind of. You don't want to ball them up and you don't want to crease them, but a gently fold, roll them and put them in a Ziploc bag. That way they're not going to get tangled up, they're protected from the elements and they're just really easy to organize and see. A funny thing that we hear from a fair number of customers who wear button suspenders is that they just leave the suspenders on the pants and they hang the pants in the closet. That way they don't have to button and unbutton the suspenders and so they choose suspenders that work with those pants and maybe they have a particular outfit in mind that they will wear that with a shirt or a, a jacket uh, specifically. So um, that's another way to do it. So that's the lowdown on a number of different ways to store your suspenders. If you find any others or if you have any other tricks, please let us know. We're always eager to learn more about them. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 800-393-4508 in the U.S. or outside the U.S. at 410-987-4212. And thanks for watching Suspender Store.